What's up everyone and welcome to another Warframe video. Time to take a look at the first of the weapons that came in the update with Gauss and that's the Exceltra. This thing is one of Gauss's signature weapons and is basically a fully automatic micro missile launcher which is pretty much as cool as it sounds. The shots go a certain distance from you before they arm which is, seems to be around 7 meters and then explode on contact with enemies doing a 3 meter AOE explosion hitting everything around them. Anything within this arming range gets hit for full damage, but there's no explosion, so you don't hit multiple enemies. All of that is to try and mitigate the fact that yes, this weapon does do self-damage, which is very annoying if you're like me, who is a very aggressive player, because I use a lot of mobility, so it does actually mean that you can kill yourself with it. And it does actually happen often enough that it does get annoying. The footage I recorded in the Infested Arbitration for my Gauss video killed myself twice, um, I even managed to kill myself once with it and nearly do it again in the footage in the background now, so it is something to be aware of when you're using the weapon. Stats wise, it's pretty decent, you know, base damage for a full auto crit weapon, exceptional crit chance and very high crit damage multiplier, 2.8 times just makes it hit like a truck. The biggest downside though is it's very low status chance of just 6%, which makes this suffer very badly against armoured targets, as well as very low max ammo combined with high fire rate means that you can blow through your entire ammo reserves in no time at all. So ammo peters or a carrier are definitely going to be your saving grace with this thing. It's got an interesting special mechanic too, which is that while a 2 second reload isn't honestly terrible at all, if you're sprinting it shortens the reload a bit too, which promotes mobility while using it. And then it reloads faster, like even faster when you're using Gauss as well. So you can cut that reload down by quite a bit by playing around with it. It's a nice little mechanic which makes the weapon actually handle quite a lot nicer while you're using it. With the build, I'm basically building around killing as efficiently as I can. Not just at lower level, but against higher level unarmored targets too. This weapon sucks against armor. Corrosive doesn't proc enough to strip armor. And Hunter Munitions doesn't prop it up enough, well, even close, to be honest. So, except that it doesn't do armoured targets very well, and just make it shred everything else. Serration, Split Chamber, Heavy Calibre, since I don't care about directly hitting enemies with it, and that additional damage plus the increased speed makes it demolish groups of enemies super, super, super quickly and efficiently. Then we got Crit Mods on there, just Point Strike Vital Sense, Vigilante Supplies is going to give us our additional multi-shot, plus combining that with our mod carrying carrier for a much higher chance of upgrading our crits from a yellow to an orange. Then elemental wise, we're going with as much elemental as possible, prime cryo rounds and infected clip for viral damage to just shred everything you can. So with that said, what do I think of the weapon? Well honestly, I think it's brilliant. If you go into it only testing it against a level 165 gunner and throwing it away because you can't deal with the heavily armoured targets, then I don't know what to tell you. A weapon can be good without being able to shred those enemies, like double the level what we normally actually go against. 99% of the game is level 50 or below, unless you start pushing long run survivals and stuff. This weapon is salty worthy, although being perfectly honest, it will struggle against enhanced armor or mission 3 of a salty if it's a grenier one or um, a void one, so basically anything with high level armored targets. You are definitely going to be better off going with another weapon if those are the cases, or bringing corrosive projection squad or a frame that has armor stripping, because this thing will deal with unarmored enemies brilliantly so strip the armor off the heavy armored ones and you can just annihilate them just fine but like i say look at the footage i'm showing here this is the majority of warframe killing enemies around this level some a bit lower some a little bit higher and can you really say that this is bad it's less dangerous than your traditional explosive weapons and miles more effective than single target weapons at this level and most multi-target ones with the exception of maybe the ignis that AoE explosion combined with the damage of the weapon absolutely shreds and kills insanely effectively. If you want your next super high level armoured enemy shredding weapon, this isn't it. However, if you want a weapon that shreds 99% of the content we have in the game, then look no further than this. I've had a blast playing around with this, 
It is a lot of fun and well worth whacking that former into there. Just be very careful not to blow yourself up with it if you are playing very aggressively like I do. So I hope you enjoyed my look at the Exeltra. I have a video coming on the Acarius coming tomorrow. But for now, many thanks for watching and I shall catch you in the next one.